Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in our last video we did these sort of blurb modules that spin out to reveal an image behind. We're going to sort of continue that theme today. I've got another one here that's in the same vein but it's an icon that sort of spins out to reveal some text when you hover over it. And as you can see the icon disappears and the text sort of spins in. Really easy to do with the Divi theme, so let's get this done. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once loaded, I'm going to go down to where I want to work. And I'll put it in our third column here. I've just got a row, green one for a row, blue one up here for a section and a dark one for a module. I'm going to add a module to the third column on this row. And just like the last video, I'm going to use a blurb module. By default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard, plus another dozen or so if you've got WooCommerce installed and you've got products. So let's add our blurb module. I like to use it because it's got the nice icon, the elegant things icons included with it. Okay, um, I'm not going to have a title. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that, control X to cut, and I'm going to paste it into the actual content block here so we can make the whole thing disappear rather than having to work with a title and some content. And I'll just turn this back into a title by selecting it, going up to where it says paragraph there, and make it heading three. I'll move this out of the way so you can see. You can see no real difference between it and the original blog, or blurb I should say. Okay, image and icon. You can put an image in if you want to. I'm going to use an icon because I think it works quite well. So going to image and icon. I'm going to switch the use icon to on. And here's your little list of elegant themes icons that comes with it. And I'll, I'll use the same icon as I did before. I'll just use that little thing there. It really doesn't matter. You choose whichever one you want. If you want to have it to link to somewhere, just put your link in there. I'm not going to have my linking to anywhere. I'm, it's more of a sort of eye catcher than a link for this one. Right, let's go into our design tab next door. And let's go to image and icon. Let's make it a different color this time. I'm going to circle the icon like I did before. Let's make it green. Why not? Actually, we'll keep that white and we'll make the background green. If you want to add a circle border, you can do so right here. I'm going to leave mine as is. Where it is on the top, that's fine too. Now then, I want to centralize all my text, so I'm just going to click on the text here and get it all to the middle. Of course, you don't have to do that. Again, this is just me doing what I want to do. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a tiny bit of custom CSS because I'm going to shrink this thing uh, so that when we're not hovering over it, all you can see is the icon. And when we are hovering over it, all you can see is the text. To do that, I just want to add a little bit of custom CSS. So I'm going to go to the advanced, down to custom CSS. And where it says main element there, I'm going to say overflow, hidden, semicolon. There you go, overflow, colon, hidden, semicolon. I'll put this below the video. You're welcome to copy it, use it. Okay, let's go back to our design tab. Let's go to sizing. Of course, we're doing this all today with pretty much all the inbuilt features of Divi. I've had to write that one little bit of CSS. Divi is absolutely awesome, really easy to use. If you want to take it for a risk-free test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's click on sizing. Now I'm going to go down to height and it, if you hover the dark where it says height, the word height, these little icons should appear there. Click on the little arrow, it'll give you a desktop state, which is basically a non-hover state when your mouse isn't on this blurb, and a hover state, which means when it is. Now for the desktop, I'm going to shrink the height down to, let's try 100 pixels. There we go. Now, if you don't put that overflow hidden in there, it will shrink down, but you'll still see the content there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And for the hover state, when we're hovering over it, 
I want to be able to see the writing itself. So there we are, well, it's about three. I'll do 302, 300 will probably do it. That's fine. And for max height, I'm going to write that in there as well. All right, so we've got a desktop state where you can't see it and a hover state where you can see it. Great, fantastic, just what we want. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to make this icon disappear when we are actually hovering on it. So let's go back to our icon and image up at the top here. And we're going to use a bit of sort of jiggery pokery because it's not really going to disappear. We're just going to turn it white so you can't see it. So again, icon color. Well, that's white anyway, so we can leave that as circle color. Let's hover over and hit the little button. Now, what is it we want it to do when we're hovering on it? So we'll go to the hover state. We don't want to be able to see it. So let's just make the background white and you won't be able to see it. Fantastic. Okay. Now then, so we fix that. We fix the text so you can't see it. We want to make it twirl in in a minute or revolve in. And also, I think, let's go back to desktop state. Let's move this down a little way so it's more in the middle. So when everything spirals in, everything's kind of going to be in the middle there. To do that, we're still on the design tab. Let's close up image and icon, go down to spacing. Let's give it a margin on the top. Let's try 100 pixels. Uh, looks like I'm... Might have used 120 on the other one. Let's see. I don't know. We can adjust it if it's wrong. So everything's where we want it now. And everything's going to do what we want it to do now. Let's just add a few effects. So I've closed that up. Let's go down to transform. And we'll use the rotate, transform rotate, like we did in our last example. And again, I'm going to use this one. But I only want it to rotate... What I kind of want it to do is when you hover over it, I want to give it the appearance of that spinning and then disappearing. So to do that, I'm going to hit our little arrow up here. If it's not there, just hover over the dark bit where it says transform, it'll appear. So when we hover over it, I want it to disappear. When, it's, when we're not hovering over it, I'm going to roll it around. You'll see it turning as I do this. I'm going to roll it around almost to 290. I could have just gone up but I'm just trying to demonstrate what it's going to do. And then when we hover over it, we want it to... Remember, this is the whole blurb module that's going to do this, not just the icon. So it's everything, the writing and the icon. I'm going to set it to zero, so when it settles, the writing's perfectly level, which it's not right now, but you can find it, tune it with these little arrows right there. There we go. That should be level. Okay, and also I'm going to take that padding off the top that we put on so that it all sort of it's all in the same area so the writing appears where the icon was. So again, let's go up to our spacing. And this time I'm going to hit the little arrow above margin where we put in that 120, and for the hover state, I'm going to put in zero. Now I hope this makes sense. So when we're hovering over it, the writing's going to appear where the actual icon was. If you want to, you can give it a negative value. You can give it negative 50 or something and adjust it how you want. Just put it exactly where you want it to appear. So all right, let's leave it like that. It won't be quite like our one next door because I did zero on that one, but I'm sure you get the idea. So I think we've done everything we need to do now. The only thing I want to do is slow it all down a bit because if I leave it as it is, it's going to happen in 300 milliseconds, which is just under a third of a second, which is way too fast to, for me. So let's go over to our advanced tab again. We'll go down to our transitions. Transition duration, the time it takes for it to actually do its transition. I'm going to put mine up to maybe second, second and a half, something like that. And I'm also going to have it ease in, ease out. That way it'll sort of ease in. Then when you take your mouse off of it, it'll sort of ease back out again, which is, to me, quite a pleasing effect. So let's save all this and see if we've actually got it right. Save changes. I'm going to save the changes on the page. little bu purple button down the bottom there. And hit the save. 
Then when we're done, let's exit the Visual Builder. And go down to where we were. There's our little icon. Let's hover over it and see what happens. Junk. There we go. Text has appeared and the icons disappeared. When we roll off of it, it should reverse. Text will disappear and the icon will appear. So there you have it. That's a nice little sort of transform effect. Really easy to do. Like I say, you only have to write one tiny little line of CSS. And if you didn't catch it, I'll put it below the video here. It's really simple. So well done, Divi. You've done it again. I like it. So I hope you found that useful, guys, and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.